Hi, I'm Maithili, your host on India Food Network. So before we begin, let me tell you just a bit about myself. I'm a practicing architect, but cooking and baking has always been a passion with me. So I used to experiment on my friends and family, and before you know it, I was a huge hit with them. So that's how I really started into cooking and baking, and today I just enjoy it without a doubt. So as we progress towards the holidays, we want to celebrate and indulge in something sinful and rich. My today's recipe is just that. So today we are going to make the very decadent Kalua chocolate tart. So to know more about this joy, keep watching me on India Food Network. Here is a recipe which is sinful, rich, decadent and just perfect for the holidays. Now this is really a very basic chocolate tart recipe and because today is a festive season we are looking forward to it so I am spiking it with some Kalua which is a coffee based liqueur but it, you can absolutely use anything, any liqueur that you want and you can flavour it. So for this we are going to require 200 grams of any chocolate cream biscuit. 1 4th cup of melted butter 250 grams of dark melting chocolate then 1 cup of double whipping cream 1 tablespoon of Kalua and some sprinkles to sprinkle later on So let's start by grinding this biscuit in my food processor So it's very simple, just drop all your chocolate cream biscuits into the food processor and let it do all the work for you. So we just put all the biscuits in the food processor and we are just going to blitz it to a coarse sandy powder. So just give it a quick. So this is what you're looking at. Look at this coarse sandy powder. So that is going to be our tart base. Just pour it into the bowl. To this, I'm going to add one fourth cup of melted butter just so that we can press this um, uh, biscuit base into our tart tin. So just add the melted butter. And now just keep on mixing till you get a nice buttered, coarse powder of the biscuits. Okay, so now I've really nicely mixed it. Make sure that the butter and the crumbs absolutely blend together. Now here is a tart tin that I've got with a removable base. Now this is really really good if you want to do these tarts or any other tarts. It really comes in handy. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to pour all this biscuit crumb right in the center and start pressing it like this so as to create a base for the tart and what you want to do is you want to keep on adding the buttered crumbs little by little and start from inside to outside so that you can fill in the sides and you want to you know fill on all the ridges and the corners make sure you're pressing it each time so that you know it sticks together otherwise you'll have a very a crumbly base which you don't want so for the final bit, I'm just going to press all around just to get all the sides and the edges covered with a good thick biscuit base. So now I've prepared my biscuit base for the tart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refrigerate this for at least 30 to 40 minutes so that it really sets before we pour in the chocolate. So let's take this to the refrigerator and just uh, put it in the refrigerator for 30 to 40 minutes. So while my tart is resting in the fridge, I'm going to prepare the filling for the tart. Now here I have a double boiler with which I'm going to melt the chocolate and the double whipped cream. So what I've done here is I've taken some boiling water in a pan and I'm going to place the chocolate in a glass bowl which I'm going to place it over the boiling water. Now the whole idea over here is that the steam from the boiling water is melting the chocolate and it does not touch the glass bowl at any point in time. 
So that's a very, very important thing that you have to see that the boiling water is not touching your glass bowl. So just let it be on this for a while and just melt your dark chocolate till it's really smooth and silky and really delicious. So I'm going to let this work for a couple of more minutes. Okay, some of my friends just put this glass bowl in a microwave and they do it in like a couple of minutes. But for me, it always goes, it chars or it breaks down. I mean, I never like it. And I never get that really smooth and silky texture that I want. So this is an absolute fail-safe method. So if you see, it has started melting here. So you just want to let it work on its own and do not disturb it at this point in time. So now that you see the chocolate is almost melted, little bit bits and pieces here. So this is the time you empty out your double whipping cream into this. So just go straight ahead and plop all this gooey whipping cream inside. And just give it a quick stir so that it becomes a nice and luxuriant chocolate mixture. Now actually this is a basic ganache recipe that is there, you know, and uh, if you eat this chocolate, you will really, really, it's rich and dense and it's really decadent. So I'm just going to keep on mixing it. Let your boiling water be on. And in no time, we'll have a really, really luxuriant chocolate filling. Just make sure you go right up to the bottom and you're taking all the chocolate and the cream. Now here what I do is I take in my handy whisk and I just whisk it up a little bit so that surely get a nice and really creamy mixture. Okay, now we can switch it off because I can see that the chocolate and cream has really mixed together. So I'm just going to lift this up and take it down here and just give it a quick mix just to get a very very creamy texture to the chocolate filling. Now is the fun part. Now here is when I add my Kalua liqueur to make it that little extra special for the festive season. So I'm going to drop in a big tablespoon of Kalua and give it a quick mix again. So now my chocolate base, my chocolate tart has been resting in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. So I have to basically just pour all of this gooey gooey chocolate into the tart just like that. I mean, how rich can it get? I mean, it cannot get more rich than this. Make sure you get it all around. And that's pretty much it. Now we have to put this tart in the refrigerator for at least five to six hours and overnight works just as well. So I'm going to pop this in the fridge for about five to six hours and then I'll show you how to decorate it. My Kalua chocolate tart is absolutely ready. I mean, doesn't it look rich and decadent? I can't wait to get into it. So what I'm doing is because it's the festive season, so I've just piped in a little bit of the whipped cream that I had on the sides and just made little florets just to look it more rich and more sinful. And now I'm going to show you the real fun. I've taken these really fresh roses that I had and I'm just going to put in the center to make it a little more festive and little more colorful. So I have the center here. Just add as many as you want. I mean, just make it look, make your friends, make your family feel special. Just to give it that extra touch, I'm going to sprinkle some silver balls on top and on the sides. Just to give that little dewy effect. And that's pretty much it. I mean, doesn't it look gorgeous and sinful? And that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching me. And don't waste any more time to make these for your loved ones and your friends and family. This is Maithili signing off. Until next time. Ciao.